Hi there, welcome to this tutorial on Java vector class from Ritus.com. In this tutorial, let's look at what are the interfaces which an extra, uh, which a vector class extend, I mean which a vector class implements and where you can use a vector class. So, first thing, uh, a vector class implements something called a list interface. A list interface is usually for those things where position is important. So a collection is usually for those things where you have a group of things. So you would want to add, remove, uh, find out if an element is present or not. In those kind of kind of situations, we go for collections. And in the collections where the position is important, so you want to be able to add at a particular position. If you want to add, let's say, at position two, I want to insert somebody. At position uh, four, four, I want to insert somebody list is those collections where position is very important so in all those kind of situations we use a list interface F uh, you can look at an example of a list interface here so the list interface contains methods uh, like get a value at a position so you pass a position as a parameter and you get the element at that particular position or you can say set the element at this position so at this position set a value uh, something so you can say batman dot set to come up pointing so then the value at two uh, position two is changed to pointing or you can add so you can add a value at position so i can say add two comma pointing then the rest of the list is pushed uh, to the right and pointing is inserted at position 2 so and you can remove the value at a particular position and you can find the index of a particular object another important thing about the list interface is that the list interface allows duplicates so you can have the same thing present twice so for example if I have Sachin present he can be present twice in a list uh, so the most important things about a list interface is that list interface allows for those things which uh, position is important and it allows duplicates uh, one of the important uh, implementations of the list interface is the array list array list is a very basic implementation of the list interface array list implements the list interface and you can add elements you can remove elements and do a lot of stuff with the array list and the other important class the one which is, is the focus of this video is the vector class vector class is also similar to array list i mean you can add an element at a position remove an element at a position delete uh, element from a position or you can add at the end of the list i mean you can do all operations where uh, the position is important so vector is very similar to array list except for the important fact that in the vector class everything is synchronized so what does that really mean let's first start with the array list let's just see a small example with uh, array list so uh, instead of a vector I would actually use an array list to start off with so I'm using an array list I'll just to be uh, sure I'll also rename this to array list Oops. Mm, a lot of places <laughs> hold on with me yeah so I want array list and I want to rename this variable to array list example or I can call it even batsman So, what I'm doing is now creating an array list. Oops. And if you look at this array list now, this array list, oops. This array list, uh, can, uh, you can add an element. So, I'm creating a new array list and I am I'm using a list interface 
and the implementation of the list interface which is array list i could have even called this array list it should not be a problem but it's always uh, good to start with interfaces so that's why i used a list because you can change this implementation now it's array list i can change it to vector and without changing the rest of the code the class becomes a vector so you can easily change things if we use the interfaces so that's why i use the list interface and i use i'm creating a new array list in the array list you can add uh, LM, add Dravid so it becomes Sachin and Dravid add 0 comma Ganguly so Ganguly is going to be at 0 you can add Sachin what happens Sachin uh, is uh, like you the most important thing in uh, array list or a vector is that it allows duplicate so if I add Sachin again it is usually it is implement it is added at the end of the list and Sachin is here with the index 3 again so you have Sachin at 1 and Sachin at 3 and you can have the size and you can also have contains the other thing you can do around an array list or a vector is iterate around it so you can see that i'm using an array list iterator i'm doing a batsman dot iterator and while it has next i'm printing the value so it would print all the four names on separate lines so the other method important is index of method so index of method helps you to find out index of dravid in this particular list is two because we had four elements Dravid was at two and index of Bradman I didn't have Bradman in this list so it returns back a value minus one so similarly I can say batsman dot get of one which is Sachin so you have other functions like remove and also you can remove based on the index so you can either remove the value so I can say remove Dravid or you can also remove based on the index so remove the element at one so what happens it's 0 1 and 1 is removed so this Sachin is removed and you have Ganguly and Sachin in the list so this is the uh, this is the uh, array list vector also is very similar so if I change uh, array list to vector nothing actually changes rest of the code compiles if you run this program you'd get the same output as you had earlier the only thing which really changes if we go and look at the vector class is if we look at the vector class you can see it implements the list interface that is very important it implements the list interface and the other important thing about vector class is all the methods most are all the important methods are synchronized so you'd see that everything like every important method in here like let's just pick up add method so add e you see that it's synchronized what do you mean by a synchronized method synchronization is very important when it comes to multi-threading when a method is synchronized only one thread can enter it at a point in time so what it allows is that if this method if this program is being executed by multiple programs at the same time then if a thread is coming to this method and it's executing this line then until the end of the method is reached and the execution completes no other thread can enter this method so it means only one thread can execute these four lines of code at a point in time so synchronization is very important when you have multiple uh, threads being used when multi-threading is used so that's the exact point where a vector dif vector class is really different from the array list class in array list all these methods are not synchronized that means if you have multiple threads running them probably the first thread is executing line one the third test is executing line three and thereby the whatever the functionality that you want from the add method you might not get it so in a multi-threading environment you should use a vector instead of an array list so that's basically all that you'd need to know about an uh, vector class in summary vector is an implementation of the list interface vector is very similar to array list except that all methods are synchronized which means you can safely use a vector class in a synchronized i mean in a multi-threading environment there you go that's all you need to know about a vector class until next time bye if you like this video show it by clicking like or commenting or sharing this video we are creating more videos on varied range of topics as we speak subscribe to stay updated thanks for watching until next time bye